Welcome back to 12 News at 4. According to Forbes Health, 70% of people who meet someone on a dating app say it leads to a romantic relationship, with men being more likely to find success than women. However, some say that dating apps are losing popularity due to issues with algorithms and added fees. So on this Wellness Wednesday, we're discussing dating do's and don'ts and how to navigate the dating world. Life coach Juliana Lidden is here to help, and she helps a lot of clients all the time. So... Juliana, let's start with the <laughs> stage of dating that people might be in. Yes, you've got to pay close attention to this. So are you just out of a relationship and maybe you need to keep working on yourself because you don't want to attract that same person? Maybe you want to just kind of play the field. Maybe you want to get married. So I tell people all the time, pay attention where you are. Don't just go out there blind. Okay, certainly. And yeah, because they still call it baggage, right? After That's all right. these years. So you don't want to bring that into your next relationship. You, you know, you got to love yourself. Um, right. What about this list? I know in our discussion leading up to this, we're talking about making a list. Yes, what does a that list entail? is so important. I do it with my clients in session all the time. And I tell them, not only you, the, you get to be picky, you get to pick out what you want, what you don't want, what your desires are, but most importantly, what your deal breakers are. Ooh. So when you know what you don't want, it makes it much easier to attract sure. that person. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and we know this one might be a little bit more obvious, but emotional intimacy and that development prior to the physical portion yes. of a relationship. Because when we're in that emotional place, what's happening is we feel safe, we feel connected, we feel heard. And a lot of times people jump into the physical, which isn't all bad, Sure. but what happens is they come back and they're like, oh, I'm so hooked. And then the person goes, wait, I thought we were just having fun. What's going on? On, you know, just so, goofing around. That's right. <laughs> so you really have to be aware of when you're going to get tangled up in that and try to build some of that first. Okay, and keep them a little separated. Yep. Um, let's talk about icebreakers. Uh, I loved your list of how to kind of start a date if you're just getting into the yes, dating game. Yes, and so I think one of the really fun things to ask someone is, what is your favorite part of your daily routine? Yes. What a simple yes. question. Yes, so simple. The, the thing with some of these questions that are so good is they're a lot deeper and you find out so much in that. Like, what are they doing in their morning routine or in yeah. their day? Right? And do they drink coffee? Because yeah, yeah. that matters. <laughs> right. When you book the cruise five years later and they're yes. like, what do you mean you need a deck to drink coffee on? <laughs> okay, so That's such a right. simple That's question. Right. Yeah, I love yeah. That. Um, I liked this next one. Uh, about age and, yes. and what you like about your age. Yes. So then you find out, are there, is there like a hang up on how old they are? Can they share how old they are? What is it they love about it? And that tells a lot about a person. Uh, so it, it I, certainly does. I love that one, especially for us females too, because sometimes we don't always feel comfortable with where we are. So. Well, certainly yeah. that and our weight, but that's yeah. a different topic. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. This last one I want to touch on before we go is a question you typically get during a job interview, where do you see yourself in five years? But this is also a good icebreaker question. It is, because then you're going to see this trajectory of really where they plan on going. What what are their goals? What does that look like? And um, another one that I love is you can say, what is your first impression of me right now? Oh, God. <laughs> I bet that would render them speechless. They would right. know what They'd be okay, like, uh-oh. Uh I love it. We're going to have Julianne here for the, the rest of the hour. We want you to ask her your questions. 2 so we can get your questions answered in about 20 minutes. Link